ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਗਨਬੀ ਸਟਾ ਇਨ ਦ ਕਥਾ ਆਫ ਨੌਵੇਂ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਦ ਬਾਣੀ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਦਿਸ ਬਾਣੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਆਫ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਮੰਗਲ ਇੱਕ ਉਹ ਅੰਕਾਰ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਨੌਵਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਰਸਾਇ ਦਿਸ ਬਾਣੀ ਇਨ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਬੇਰਾਗ ਵੇਡ ਬੇਰਾਗ ਰਾਗ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਅਟੈਚਮੈਂਟ bear meaning without guru tegh bahadur ji padshah ji has recited this bani in so much detachment and where has this detachment come from to learn about this let's look at the life of guru tegh bahadur ji sachche padshah guru tegh bahadur ji is born in amritsar in today that place is known as guru ke mahal and in the house of guru har gobind sahib ji sachche padshah ji and their mother mata nanki ji in 1621 guru tegh bahadur ji paach ji when they are born guru har gobind sahib ji paach ji is in sri darbar sahib in harmandar sahib listening to asadi warda kirtan and a gursik comes and tells guru har gobind sahib ji paach ji in your house that a fifth son has been born but guru har gobind sahib ji paach ji remain until the kirtan isn't finished after taking part in the ardas Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji Padshah Ji comes to Guru Ke Mahal and when they see their son our history writes that Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji Sachche Padshah Ji upon seeing the fifth child that has come into this world just like Gurbani says tan tan pita tan tan kul tan tan so janani jin guru janya maaye and some may be thinking that we're using the word born but the guru is beyond birth and death these are just mere words a body is still coming into the world and that jyot that is going to be within the body and guru sahib ji is referring to that they're saying that tan tan pita the father of that child is blessed guru har gobind sahib ji sachche paach ji tan tan pita tan tan kul kul the family that guru tegh bahadur ji paach ji is come into the sodhi once uh, into the family of the sodhis guru ram das ji sachche paach ji bibi bhani ji where this sodhi once started from tan tan pita tan tan kul tan tan so janani mata nanki ji the mother of guru tegh bahadur ji paach the wife of guru har gobind sahib ji paach ji jin guru janya mai janya means given birth to that mother is blessed who has given birth to the guru janya mai mai means mother guru har gobind sahib ji paach ji they say when they saw guru tegh bahadur ji they took their child within their arms and very slightly they bow their head towards them and whenever as guru tegh bahadur ji paach ji is growing up it said that whenever their children whenever their sons would come and do matha tek to them bow before their pita guru before their father guru when baba gurditta ji their eldest son baba suraj mal ji baba atal rai baba ani rai and then the youngest guru tegh bahadur ji they said one by one as they would all come to bow before guru har gobind sahib ji paach ji they and sit close to them they said but when guru tegh bahadur ji would come they said guru har gobind sahib ji padshah ji they say that they would move their knee up and they would take guru tegh bahadur ji and brace them and take them to their chest they take them to their chest and they'd kiss them on their forehead mata nanaki ji one day asked and she said guru sahib ji o oh pati ji o oh my husband o oh my guru she said that i've noticed that why is it that when even when all five of your children come to you but to guru tegh bahadur to your youngest child every time you take him to your chest you embrace him you kiss his forehead is there a difference in the love that you share with your five children guru har gobind sahib ji padshah ji explaining to mata nanaki ji upon her request and key and she kept on asking guru har gobind sahib ji padshah ji says kende pyar ta ikko hi hunda there is only one love and but they said the reason why i do this the reason why my head slightly bowed down towards this child the reason why i embrace him is because he's here on this earth to do such a job that has never been seen before he's going to be the protector of another faith and you will see that day when it comes 
Mata Ananiki ji folds her hands. Some of our itihasakar, some of our historians write that Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Patsha Ji has named their child Tiagmal. And Tiag actually means when you give something up, when you have no issue in just letting go of something. And why did Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Patsha name him this? When they're only at the mere age of about five, six, it's Baba Gurudita Ji's wedding. And when it's their wedding and they've been now Mata Naniki Ji's put loads of ornament jewelry on them. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Pachi is all dressed up like the like a prince, the son of a king. And when they come out, they said there was a beggar outside. And when he looks at Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, Baal Roop, but still a child, his Brahman said, they said, he said, I'm hungry, I have no clothes, I have nothing to eat. And he said that you're from the Guru's house. He says, you have so much. And he said that you, there is no coming, there's no short, shortage for you. And Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Padshaji looked at this child, took off all the expensive jewellery that they were wearing. And then Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji took off the expensive clothes that they were wearing and they gave it to this child. Upon coming back home, Mata Nani Ki Ji looked at their child. They looked at Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Padshaji. They said to their husband, they says, why don't you scold your child? Look. He's given away all his clothes. And Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Pat Ji said, they said, that's why I named him Tiagmal. He won't have any issues with giving things away. They said, today it's only his clothes that is given away. They said, Guru Sahib Ji said that you see when a time comes, he's going to let go of so much. Today it's these clothes. One day it's going to be a different set of clothes that he's going to actually give away. So this shows us if this Bani is showing so much detachment, is this Bani is showing so much reality, the truth about this world not being permanent, about having to leave one day, about awakening and thinking about and realizing how we're living this life and how we're allowing our breaths to go by. When that Sama came of Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji, Padshah Ji, to give on the, the Guruship, but just before that, what does some of our historians write that? How did their change of name come about? When Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Pacha Ji fought four battles, Jar Janga Sache Pacha Ji Ladene, the Jadu Chothi Jangya Shah Jahan, when the fourth battle came, which was with Shah Jahan and then Pande Khan as well, that orphan that Guru Sahib Ji took in and brought up with their own hands, he has now turned against Pacha Ji, became a Kirtakan. A Kirtakan is somebody that is, that is non appreciative. He is in the battle as well against Maharaji who taught him how to fight and gave him everything, gave him all the skills of how to fight. And then in that battle, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji say, they say they've come forward and they ask their father, this is, oh father, this is give me permission as well to go in this battle. Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Parshi, they said there's many that are there to fight in this battle. This is your Tiagmal, you're a little saint. And they says, you don't need to take part in this battle. Upon being persistent, they've been given permission by their father to go. And when Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Pachji go into this battle, so fearless, fiercely fighting, cutting through those that they're fighting against. And after this, after the battle had finished, Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Pachji win their fourth battle. Pachji is given out Surope and they're giving out these blessings to everyone. And as Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Pachji Tiagmal come forward as well to take this blessing, to take this robe of honor. What happens? Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Padshah Ji says, Kande va, kande va putter, kande you did so well. Kande tenno ta kande Tiagmal akhya, kande tera naam rakhe hoon ta, kande we called you Tiagmal, we named you Tiagmal, you shown how Tiagi you are, you can give up anything at any time, how you sit and meditate for hours upon hours. They said, but you will remain Tiagi, you are a warrior now. And from that day, they were named Guru Tegh Bahadur Sangat Ji. But that summer came, Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Pachi is going to pass on the Guruship. And out of all their children, only three of their sons are remaining. Because they had a daughter as well, Bibi Viro. Why is only three sons remaining now? Because two of them, Baba Atal Rai and Baba Gurditta Ji, by now have passed on. 
You can watch the Sakhi as well on the channel. How Baba Atal Rai, only at the tender age of about eight, nine years old, they actually left this world. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Ji saw their brother with their own eyes leaving this world at the tender age of about eight, nine years of age. Baba Gurditta Ji as well, they leave at a very young age as well. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Ji sees all this with their own eyes as well. During the lifetime of Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, they've seen ba Pai Gurdas Ji, these predominant Gursikhs like this, they've seen them leave. They've seen Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Paatsha Ji leave as well. They've seen Sheme Paatsha, Satme Paatsha, Guru Harai Paatsha Ji, Guru Har Krishan Sache Paatsha Ji, they've seen as well. During their time, they've left this world. They've seen so much death, and especially when you see death at a young age, when you see a young one leaving as well in your own brother, and how that must have affected Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, but in a positive way, it took them deeper. And it took him even more to that Biragme Avastha, that state of mind of detachment to this world. But not only were they detached to this world, they had that perfect balance of knowing and living within this world as well. And then Mata Nanaki Ji said to Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Pacha, you've decided to give the Guruship now to your grandchild who was Guru Harai Sache Pacha Ji. And they said, what will happen of the Agamal? She said that you've seen how he sits and meditates all the time. And she said, and Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Pat, she says, Nanaki, what is it you're trying to say? What are you trying to ask for? She said, I thought within my mind that he would be blessed with the Guruship. Guru Hargoim Sahib Ji Pat, she smiled. And then Nanaki, to keep on me. What, what is it that you want? And they took out a ramal. They took out this little handkerchief and they gave it to Mata Nanaki Ji, placed it in her hand and some write that they gave, their, they gave Mata Ji a katar as well and gave her a pothi sahib as well and this is take these nishaniya and Mata Ji said I won't be able to see you leaving this world she said take me with you don't let me remain here and they said you've got a lot of work to do yet they said in your house such a grandchild is going to come yet that's going to be such a even such a great Bahadur he's going to be such a great warrior and, and they said that your putter, his time will come as well, don't worry. And with these blessings, they've moved on to Bakala Sahib, where Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Pacha Ji did immense meditation, tapasya, in Baba Bakala Ji, in a cave, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Pacha Ji would be there in so much, so much birag, in that love-filled avastha, harti jadi lav, man chau peya, Bairagiya Balram Ji, that yearning to be one with that Akal Purkh Bhai Guruji, that cha, that Bairag, that detachment from this, from these worldly possessions and those things that we get entangled in when they would come out and do Kirtan. But not only did they sit there and meditate, but when we read Avitahas, Guru Sahib Ji would go out and work for themselves as well. Some write about 22 years, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, Path Shah Ji, they stayed in that place. And then in Baba Pakala, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Pat Shah Ji receiving the Guruship. A son comes into the house, Guru Govind Singh Ji Pat Shah Ji in Patna Sahib. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Pat Shah Ji established Anandpur Sahib, which was originally called Chak Nanaki, named after the Mata Ji. Then later on, it was changed to Anandpur Sahib when Guru Govind Singh Ji Pat Shah Ji at the age of five came and joined them in Anandpur Sahib from Patana Sahib upon them reaching there and this and Guru Sahib Ji being in so much bliss when they came to this place Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Pacha Ji seeing the bliss that Guru Govind Singh Ji is experiencing Ananda meaning bliss they changed the name there to Anandpur Sahib as well as they are there such a time came when the oppressors of that time the ruling the rulers of that time Aurangzeb was in power he was oppressing other faiths and when he was oppressing the Hindu faith, the leaders, those that were leading the, the Hindu faith, the Brahmins who were the learned ones of the Vedas, where the main place in Kashmir was where many people came to learn the Vedas and those pundits, those scholars that lived in Kashmir themselves to actually, they had universities set their teaching. Aurangzeb thought, if we are able to convert these pundits in Kashmir who are spreading their faith from this place, this is their central place, this is once they convert, then the whole, all the Hindu nation will actually convert as well. So 
upon attempting to try and convert them the main the main pandit of kashmir whose name was kirpa ram asked by the local governor of of kashmir and said to them that if you don't convert to islam fe tusi maut nu qabool karo then you should accept death and upon hearing this the kashmiri pandits when they got together they decided they said look give us 6 months in 6 months time if we are not able to come up with a solution this says we ourselves will come and accept islam upon hearing this news aurangzeb was very happy they all go and they sit in meditation and an inner voice said to them to go to the house of guru nanak they all travel to anandpur sahib come to the house of guru nanak and a poet beautifully writes they said to guru tegh bahadur ji paach ji this is bahe asadi pakdi hai guru har gobind ke chand they said oh the moon oh the beautiful sun of guru har gobind sahib ji take and hold our arm our faith is in danger now our tilak upon our forehead the sacred mark that we put on on our forehead it's been rubbed off it's been ripped off our heads they said this janju that we wear this sacred thread that we wear has been ripped off our bodies and they said be the protector can you do something for us can you take hold of us our arm for us guru tegh bahadur ji sachche padshah ji they looked towards their child they looked towards their son guru gobind singh ji padshah ji at that time most historians write the name was gobind rai 9 years of age and they said son they said their faith can be saved they said it would take the sacrifice of someone to save their faith and they said how would it take the sacrifice of someone they said if somebody great upon this earth that is here today with a great influence was to challenge arangzeb and say that if i am to come to you and you can then torture me as much as you want and try and convert me if i am to convert after your tortures after how whatever you want to do whether it be torture whether it be that you try and entice that person in some form of way whether that be with wealth whatever it may be whether that be with power position if they if he's able to do that if he's able to in times if he's able to win them over and convert them in that way then these kashmiri pandits will become muslims as well and the whole hindu faith will become muslims as well and they said to guru gobind singh that's the way some their faith can be saved if somebody is to put this challenge towards arangzeb guru gobind singh ji paach ji say smiled and they said father pita ji who greater than you to do this job who is there upon this earth that is greater than you at the moment that sits and that has the light of guru nanak inside of him there is only you that can do this job guru tegh bahadur ji o oh, pita ji you go to delhi and put this challenge forward to arangzeb guru tegh bahadur ji paach ji smiled and knew that my son is now ready to take on this responsibility and the guruship of guru nanak sachche paach ji jyot uha jugat sah se kaya phir palatiye that he has got that same jugti jyot uha that the same jyot is within gobind rai jyot uha jugat sai sai means the reeti the way he's got the same way and lifestyle and thinking of guru nanak that means the jyot is ek already he's already become one jyot uha jugat sai shah kaya kaya means body shah means king and now it's time for him to become the next king the 10th king shah kaya fer palatiye this body is going to change over now into gobind singh and then guru tegh bahadur ji replied to the pandits this is bahe jina di pakdiye sir dije bahe na chhodiye guru tegh bahadur ji paach says whose ever arm that i take hold of i will never let go i will give my head but i will not let go of their arm guru tegh bahadur ji padshah ji they went off to delhi themselves and when they were arrested and their gursikhs are with them with guru tegh bahadur ji padshah ji bhai mati das bhai sati das bhai diyala ji and they arrested ek pinjre vich ohna nu band kita gaya aya they have been closed into a very tight spaced cage guru tegh bahadur ji padshah ji is and very uncomfortable and what happens these the sect that are with guru tegh there was five gursikhs with them and but three have been arrested and they have been tortured and become and they become martyrs and they become shaheed 
Pai Mati Das Ji has been sewn in half. Pai Diyala Ji has been boiled alive. And then Pai Sati Das Ji has been burnt alive. Guru Vich Leve Takar Ke Unho Nuh Saadhya Gya. Pai Diyala Ji Nuh Ubbal Diyan Dega Vich Ubaal Ke Unho Nuh Saadhya Gya. Ta Pai Mati Das Ji Nuh Ek Aare De Naal Unho De Sreer Nuh Cheer Ke Ad Kitta Gya. Ta Othe Guru Tek Bahadur Ji Sache Paach Ji De Agge Jade Do Seks And The Other Two Seeks That They Were There. With Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Sache Paach Ji, one of them whose name was Pai Sahib Chand, and they did Bainti to Guru Sahib Ji. They said, Sadde Vaste Ki Hukam Ya, what is the order for us? Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Sache Paach Ji said, Can they Sikho, you two know, now go back to Ananda Prasad and tell Gobind Rai everything that has been happening here and what's going to happen to me as well. And this is, let them know that the same as what has happened to my beautiful Gursikhs, the same is destined for me now. The same will happen to me now. My body will not remain. They both left, came to Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Pacha Ji, told Mata Gujri Ji, told Mata Nanak Ji, told Gobind Rai Ji, what's been happening there, what's happened to the other Gursikhs and Guru Te Padra Ji has now told them that I will not remain as well. Upon hearing this, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Pacha Ji sends another Gursikh to Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. But... At that time, there was restrictions put on that nobody is to see, no Sangat is go, to go to see Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Padcha Ji. But the Drogade means, Droga means prison officer whose name was Abdullah. The Droga Abdullah of this place, of this jail where Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Padcha Ji, Chandani Chonk has been captured. I say captured, but Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Padcha Ji went themselves and gave themselves up. And then... The Droga Abdullah had become an Ashik, had become someone that had fallen for Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. Why? Because they say that so much Sangat was yearning that Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, the Sangat of Delhi was yearning that Gurus come to our city, but we're not able to see our Guru. And they would do Ardasan, they'd send messages, Guru Sahib Ji, we want to see you, we want to have your darshan, how we want to feed you, Guru Sahib Ji. And you know, there was news that would go back to whoever was in charge in Delhi at that time at Torang Zeb. They said, you know what? We think that the prison officers may be up to something. This is, we've seen Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji sitting in their Gursikh's houses eating. We've seen them going to do Ishnan. And they said, that's not possible. He's captured. And when they would come and ask and they'd put Raki on and they'd, if they've got suspicion on the prison officer, they would ask other people, other spies that they would have watching. This says, for not for one moment have we seen Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji go out of this cage. Because Guru Sikh Bere, the truth is, the Guru, no one can bound the Guru. The Guru is not bound to this body. The Guru would be there as well. But the Guru would be sitting in his Guru Sikh's house and listening to the Bentiya and giving them darshan and sitting at their houses as well. And people would see them there. And they would, but the prison officers wouldn't see Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji move out of their cage as well. Because my Guru is all powerful. Because the Guru, no one can actually capture the Guru. It's the This is the play of Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Padshah. This sect reaches, and because Abdullah has got now Sharda, he's hukam bound as well. He's bounded by the orders of Aurangzeb, but he's now got a soft spot. So he allows Gursikhs to come and visit Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. When this Gursikh came to visit Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, this is Padshah Ji, you didn't even tell the Sangat that you're going to be leaving Anandpur Sahib, we didn't know such a Padshah. And they said, now we've heard that you're not going to be coming back ever again. This is how are we going to tolerate this? What is the Sangat going to go through? And at that point, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, my grief Ramad such a Padshah Ji, can they go and get a pen? Go and get a paper? It was all arranged with the Droga. And Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, my grief Ramad such a Padshah Ji, can they go and get a pen? Go and get a paper? It was all arranged with the Droga. And they arranged some kaagat for Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. And what did Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, Satche Paach Ji do at that point? O Samete Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, Satche Paach Ne, Sola So Paja Tarde, San De Andar. Now it's 1675, my Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, Paach Ji is at the age of 53. And this Gur Sikh in so much barag, this is how we're going to be able to tolerate and cope. You leaving us, the Sangat is there in Anandpur Sahib in so much barag when we hear this, that you're not going to be coming back. And Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Paach Ji, that moment, Jaisi Me Aave, Khasam Ki Baani, 
ਤੈਸੜੋ ਕਰੀ ਗਿਆਨ ਵੇ ਲਾਲੋ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਾਚ ਜਿਸ ਜੈਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਆਵੇ ਖਸਮ ਕੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਤੇ ਬਾਣੀ ਆਫ ਦ ਖਸਮ ਇਜ਼ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਨਾਓ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਸੇ ਤੁਰਕੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਆਈ ਤਿੰਨ ਸਗਲੀ ਚਿੰਤ ਮਟਾਈ ਦਾ ਤੁਰਕੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਬਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਕਮਸ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਖੋ ਦਾ ਬਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਕਮਸ ਫਰਮ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਹਉ ਆਪੋ ਬੋਲਣਾ ਜਾਣਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿਆ ਸਭ ਹੁਕਮਾਉ ਜੀਓ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਨਾ ਨੋ ਹਾਟ ਟੂ ਸਪੀਕ ਬਟ ਥੀਸ ਵਰਡਸ ਕਮ ਫਰਮ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਐਟ ਦੈਟ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਜੀ ਪਾਚ ਜੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਟੂ ਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਰਾਈ ਇੱਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਸਲੋਕ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਨੌਵਾਂ ਐਂਡ ਐਟ ਦੈਟ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਜਿਸ ਬਾਣੀ ਨੂੰ ਭੋਗਾਂ ਦੇ ਸਲੋਕ ਕਰਕੇ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋਨ ਐਜ਼ ਭੋਗਾਂ ਦੇ ਸਲੋਕ ਇਸ ਫੇਮਸ ਬਾਣੀ and guru sikh pyareo guru tek bahadur ji at that point starts to recite this bani gun govind gayo nahi janam akar takin kah nanak har bhaj mana jeh bid jal ko meen so sangat ji now that we've just had a glimpse a very small glimpse we've not actually gone through any sakhiya of their life but now we've got a vague idea of guru tek bahadur ji pach ji's life where this bani came from let's make that effort now take that time out 25 minutes that's it 25 minutes to listen to the translation of this beautiful bani why am i doing a binti karke sukh kewal apan nu prapt hona it will give us sukh it will give us peace it will give us true sense of happiness if we're able to contemplate and dive deeper into this gurbani and make it a part of our lives get to know it make a relationship with it so please accept this humble request sangat ji i've made many mistakes please forgive me wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh if you enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe please donate and help spread guru ji's message link is in the description below wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh wahiguru